Hey everybody, this is Retro Challenge Gamer and we're going to go through our Stage 3-4 Perfect Run where we collect all the major items found in the stage in one go. Uh, for example, you can see the stat totals for this stage and all the items found to include the three pink coins, the various 10 plus coin pickups, and although not required on a Perfect Run, uh, any one of us found in the stage if possible in our Perfect Run route. So without it further ado, let's get right to the level. So not too much in this first area in terms of secrets. Contrary to how I used to do things before I made this super world. So the first secret is actually right here off the bat. We kind of want to lure this boo away from it, because he's kind of right on top of it. But there's a one-up right there, hidden where he used to be. That's why I'm not counting it on the perfect run, because it's kind of deviously hidden. No real clues to it. That's why I don't count one-ups. But you might want to get this 10 coin now, because later on in the level it's going to be blocked off, so this will be probably be your one and only chance and shot to get it. So not too many secrets yet, although the Tower of Spooks does house a couple of them. And some of them are we're going to need to get with uh, time limits imposed on us. So I'm going to take this P-switch down a little ways, because if we stomp on it now up here, we're not going to have enough time to get to the next, uh, the first pink coin. So you're going to have to use the P-switch blocks to get up here to get to this first pink coin. There's just no other way around it. And of course, I conveniently left a blue pipe with the P-switch uh, spawner, so you can continue on your merry way through the rest of the level. Now you actually have to backtrack towards the bottom of this area, right around this point, to get the second pink coin that was hidden off to the right here. And of course I give you a way out. I actually had to make sure I had pipes put in all the areas where you could get possibly stuck without a P-switch. So sometimes you can overlook that in testing, and then as you play through it for the first time trying to gather everything, you're like, oh, I can get stuck, and I might need to put a P-switch spawner somewhere around here. Because one of the worst ways for a player to lose interest in your level is to get softlocked. So that sucks. And of course we have this easy 10 coin right out of reach here. Or right out of view, I should say. Now the third pink coin is a little tricky to get. You have to time your way out of the boo ring, second one, which I did not. And then twirl around to get to it. And that's pretty much the entire level's worth of secrets. Now it's just trying to get to the door. Now I do remember when I was recording this, I was actually getting distracted by my son and I actually didn't go straight into the door so I had to actually waste a little bit of time on these other donut blocks before I had another attempt to get to this door. <laughs> and that's pretty much the level, Tower of Spooks. I hope you all enjoyed.